In this video, I'm going to talk about brainstem anatomy again. This time, I'm going to look at a ventral dorsal view. So this is like looking at the brainstem from the front of the body. I'm also going to consider the cranial nerves that come off the brainstem. So first of all, I'll start off by drawing my brainstem. And so this is this is the view from the front. Now to begin with, uh, I'll put in some labels. Here are the cerebral peduncles, which are which is Latin for little feet. So they're the little feet of the the cerebrum, which is the brain. And they're the white fibre tracks that run up to the brain here. Now I should start off by labelling my sections, I suppose. So there's the midbrain, here's the pons, and here's the medulla oblongata. Now the pons is actually Latin for a bridge, because it has a lot of bridging fibres. And the medulla oblongata is... Latin for the oblong kernel, which I can make no sense of anyway. But here in the medulla we have the inferior olive, and here is a little section called the pyramids, which are descending corticospinal fibers, and here is a decussation of the pyramids, and this is where the corticospinal tract fibers cross to the other side of the brainstem. And so that crossing is called a decussation. So across the top and bottom, uh, we have the spinal cord inferiorly. And here, riding right down the center, you can see the ventral median fissure, which runs down the spinal cord. So let's talk about cranial nerves. Up here, before the, the brain stem, there are the first two cranial nerves, and these are the olfactory nerve, which is cranial nerve one, and the optic nerve, which is number two. Then in here, the, the first nerve to come up the spinal cord is the ocular motor nerve, and this is cranial nerve three. And not shown here, there's also the, the trochlear nerve. The reason it's not shown here is because it comes off the dorsal aspect, or the dorsal side, or the back side, of the brainstem, of the, the midbrain. So here we have a nice big fat nerve, and this is number this is number five. This is the trigeminal nerve, and this has uh, various parts to it. So that's why it's such a big fat nerve. It splits a bit later on. And then, just down here in the very lower ponds, there are three more nerves that come out. And one of them here is a double nerve. So I'll just label these now. This first one is the abducens nerve, and that's a smaller nerve because it only innervates one muscle of the eye. The next one is the facial nerve, and it's a much fatter nerve because it has lots of different parts. And these two kind of double nerves here actually make up the vestibular cochlear nerve. The superior parts of the cochlear division and the inferior parts of the vestibular division. And down here we have another little nerve. This comes off the midbrain, and this is the glossopharyngeal nerve, this cranial nerve number nine. And then just under that we have a huge big fat nerve. And this is the vagus nerve, and it does all sorts of things right throughout the body. And that's why it's, that's why it's so fat. And nerve number 11 is a bit of an interesting one because it arises from a lot of different sections, including into the spinal cord. 
and it runs kind of up the side here. And so, of course, this is spinal accessory, uh, which is the 11th nerve. And then the final nerve, the 12th nerve, is the hyperglossal nerve. Now, in this drawing, it looks like the hyperglossal nerve actually comes out above the spinal accessory, which is kind of true, but this spinal accessory actually continues up to this level and, and exits with the vagus. And so that's why uh, it's actually number nine and hyperglossal is number 12.